student voice is important because, well, uni is meant to be for us. Well, I'm very passionate about creating an inclusive and engaging environment and actually hearing everyone's voices to create that community. What you want from university, university is ready to give you. If you're not raising your voice, then even university can't help. Ultimately, like, I guess the university's choice is to, like, make a good experience for students and who knows the most about the experience, yeah, but the students. As a student, we're studying and so the decisions that are made by the university impact us the most. What RMIT has in terms of surveys and everything is brilliant, but it is important that uh, RMIT advocates more and stresses a lot more on the fact that students have to voice their opinions. Everyone on the Student Union Council is incredibly um, kind and happy to lend an ear. Um, and in the university, through your student staff consultative committees as well. Speak up, even if it's writing an email, if it's getting engaged in your SSCC, if it's volunteering, it's just being a part of it. Like being a part, my biggest regret was not getting involved into university life in my first year. It's about all that extracurricular and other stuff that I think really makes RMIT and student voice and everything else so unique. Every voice might seem like it's not like valid, but I think you might be surprised. RMIT taking a stance on marriage equality. That was fantastic, even though I wasn't here at the time. I was really impressed or like, you know, like surprised by the like, you know, amount of change that we were able to bring in culture in, at RMIT in terms of like, you know, campus safety or like introducing programs like bystander intervention or like, you know, well-being activities or making the system in a way that it's accessible to students. It's really good to see like proactive like ideas coming from like the Student Wellbeing Centre. So I'll put my money on that. Yeah.